Hey, it's going to get too so you know it's best to here with an unboxing of the ipad 3g yes the ipad 3g version i went ahead and plunged down went ahead and got the 16 gigabyte ipad 3g without further ado i'm not going to prolong this let me go ahead and get to the unboxing here and uh so yeah so i didn't want to wait in line for the uh ipad 3g the line was just as long as the one just for the regular wi-fi only ipad um when i went to the apple store that day but so i went ahead and just placed a reservation and uh, they sent me an email today saying that it was available for pickup at the apple store and so we're gonna get right into it and this would be just the first video it's a little reserved there but this will be the first video on my series of videos i'm gonna do some uh network tests some real quick network tests of this thing compared to the uh, ipad wi-fi and all right there we go they're looking nice and shiny there for me how you doing, baby? I'm going to set you to the side real quick. We'll get to her in a little bit later. But just like the regular um, iPad Wi-Fi version, you got the little manual here with all the instructions and all that. A little pin here to get inside of it to take out the SIM card. That's one thing that's different than the other one. And uh, it should have uh, some more things about how to activate and use at and service. I'm not going to bore you with those details. At least not now. Got another little sync cable here. These, these are always coming handy. And a little wall charger as well. And that's it. There's nothing else in the box. No stickers, no nothing. I'm kind of disappointed. Okay. And so let's get to the star of the show here. Here's the iPad 3G. So we're going to take the plastic off of here. And these things seem to be back order. So it took me about two and a half weeks you know, to get one of these things for them to get into the store. And the guy in the store actually said it's taking it that long. The Wi-Fi only there are usually coming a little bit more regular. But here it is. Nice screen. Looks the same. Looks nice and clean. It's always good to have a nice screen here. But my fingers will do some damage to it very quickly. But here is the where the uh, 3G connectivity, the 3G signal will come through the iPad. It couldn't go through the aluminum. They made that bad decision with the first um, generation iPhone. So they add, they add this little material right here. I don't know exactly what it is, but some material so the signal can come through. Hopefully this helps with Wi-Fi signal. I saw some tests that really didn't help that much, but hopefully this helps with Wi-Fi signal as well. But uh, other than that, here it is, the iPad 3G. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Turn this thing going, but it's going to tell me I need to sync to iTunes. But I'll have some more videos going over, so again, some network tests with this thing. And I'll make a video just explaining whether you should get this one or the uh, Wi-Fi version. But anyway, this is so you know it's best. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you later. Peace.